Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be um, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising, Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 8 to October 14, 2018. So, <clears throat> while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this will be a, a general reading for Aquarius Star Sign and this is not your personal reading, therefore I will do my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards, uh, to try for them to uh, to try to make you understand them. Uh, I'll explain you the synergy in the spread that they fall, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. And uh, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a, a personal reading, and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, also the monthly videos are already out for the month of October so if you uh, want to know what awaits your star sign for the month feel free to check them out and if you want to know even more about it and specifically career and relationship there is a extended monthly tarot readings for months of October that can be uh, each video can be purchased for $1.49 from our website and there we are focusing with a couple of spreads specifically on career and relationship development for the star sign so that set aside, going to the tarot spread first for the week for Aquarius. Now the first card is going to show us the uh, topic for Aquarius this week. The second card will represent the core of the situation or why the topic takes place. What is feeding up the topic. Then the next card here is going to give us a, an understanding of what are the challenges that they're causing predicaments. Something that needs to be overcome here throughout the week and the last card it will be about the guidance that Taro has to offer for you so let's see what we got here first now the first card that will be the death so I have said in many other videos that on its own the death is very unpredictable card because it could take place in every single area of your life and the basic meaning of the death card that is change. But it, let me uh, start talking about here why that change is happening and uh, what is the very foundation of the change happens because many tarot cards are saying change you know but the circumstances around the change and the outcomes of those changes are entirely different. So what the death card says is that this is going to be a change over a, a subject, of a standpoint or a situation in your life that no longer serves you any favor, even if you don't know it yet. All right. So that card could be um, signify, for example, just saying, for example, you know, separation in relationship and you may have, you know, your heart hurt by it, uh, but and because the emotions are um, involved here logically you may not kind of understand that this relationship has been exhausted all right and there is nothing more that you can give to one another so the death card here signifies that something is going to end throughout the week and its ending is entirely natural there is nothing more that you can have from that situation or you know from that undertaking from that job or from that relationship friendship etc etc and what will be the best thing here is, is just completely let go of because the death card has another property as well this is the cycle of death and life and uh, so the death comes to take away what is already dying or is already dead in your uh, in your life and in your environment so there is a, a place where a new life can embark and therefore the death card promises you a new beginning afterwards guys and this new beginning is signified but exactly the same situation but this time around you will have the chance to make it other way around if I may uh, if you understand what I'm meaning so with example here if it is about your relationship and your relationship ends another life will take place so another living relationship is going to take place soon after that this time around you can 
work it out and you will you can consume even more from it so let's see what will be the core of the situation or what is feeding up the death card that is the ace of swords so uh, the ace of swords it's about um, um, the truth it is about making a, a brave and heroic effort to improve our circumstances the ace is also about a an honest straight away um, kind of like exerting of one's thoughts on on one's will or in other words saying what you think so that could be um, a, a change based on that you basically say what you already wanted to say or always wanted to say but until this moment you know something holds you back and also that could be vice versa where someone tells you something you don't want to hear and you know that provokes a, a certain change for example if we go with a relationship you may you know give an accurate diagnosis here that you no longer love your partner and you tell that to them and there you got it it's a change happening I mean this will no longer be able to work out I mean relationship it could goes it could go other way around you know that they may approach you and saying you know I, I don't feel the same thing any longer and obviously this will provoke a certain change whatever the thing is it is as I said it is important that you um, that you just let it go all right and just move on make those heroic efforts to improve your circumstances like dating for example you know start dating straight away with different people instead of you know falling into suffering despair and despondency here or if it is about your job and your job is coming to an end here uh, start applying for new jobs <clears throat> even this this card the ace of swords advise you to lift your bar of expectations a little bit higher so uh, apply for jobs that are slightly better than the paid you know than, than the one that you are um, working right now etc etc but I do believe that this is about more about more um, less consequential situations like you know saying what you think to a friend of yours or to a person that is not that related to your well-being like a family member um, like as I said close friend or someone that is a friend of your boyfriend or a girlfriend etc etc and that will provoke a certain change not within them as well but also within you um, finding that it is always better to say the truth rather than to keep it in a silent treatment because at the end at least everybody can have a good sleep because they don't hold a an ill emotions ill feelings or something that is bothering their mind and not allowing them to sleep well now the uh, challenges that has to be overcome here this will be the six of cups and the six of cups reflects spontaneous happiness I mean many people says that it is reflect memories something from the past and while that is true uh, the very kind of superficial meaning is this is how a child would have handled a certain situation with spontaneous happiness all right so this is what they seek so what this card here tells us Aquarius is is that you what you have to say or what you have to do in order to improve your circumstances and to move through that period of change is not going to be something you would like to do but somehow you will be provoked and forced to do it I'm not saying here that you have to do something illegal or to hurt people it is just maybe you will be provoked to say things that you don't want to say it in a very straight way but you like more polite way etc etc and in general you have no intentions to hurt the feelings of somebody um, either your boss co-worker you know or a friend or boyfriend or a girlfriend etc etc but just the situation will require that and the challenge here will be to just again move on from that um, from that particular uh, standpoint and try to uh, basically start doing a, a small things which are compensating you know that unpleasanty you will have to endure here with the ace of swords where you have to confront the truth put the accurate diagnosis and basically say it out loud so this card here uh, advises you to kind of like um, uh, attach more to your hobbies in general things that you like to do uh, so they can keep your mind occupied and your emotions you know balanced instead of 
thinking all day about the disappointing and poignant situation that you had to go through a couple of hours before. And uh, the next card that will be about the guidance that you should uh, follow or rather like the guidance that Tarot has for you. This is the judgment card and the judgment card is about obtaining different way of thinking in a mode, in a guidance way. So the, what that card here basically points is that what you did or what you are about to do here with the Ace of Swords and with the Death card is something necessary. It is something vital and it is a wake-up call for your entire being that you it is very difficult to um, explain it but let's say that after you kind of like um, make those brave steps forward acting according to the accurate diagnosis of the situation you will understand that this was the only way this was the right way to do things even if at at the very initial state, you know, of such unfolded situation, uh, everybody involved in is feeling a little bit poignant, you know, and there is no one there happy, but you will know that this is for the better. It is because now everyone that was involved, and especially you, have a clear path to move on forward. So, um, accept here the judgment as a... Uh, a card signifies that you do have a couple of options available, all right, but neither of those options actually serves you in a much of a favor. So these options involve making huge amounts of compromise. And suddenly by you putting the accurate diagnosis here and kind of recognizing what what is the truth around your situation, then a third option suddenly appears, which is the exactly one that needs to be taken. So it's again, it's kind of like a wake up call and you should not neglect your logic that is going to be very keen throughout the week. So that being said, this was, this was the tarot reading for October 8 to October 14. Now I'm shuffling the Lenormand cards and what they're going to show us this is a uh, event that is going to um, happen that you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. So let's condemn and let's see what we got here. Now the first one that will be the bear and the bear is about authority, is about motherhood, it's about headstrong, it is about power. The next one this is going to be the star. The star is about a, a fame, the, star, uh, the, the moon, excuse me. The moon is about the a fame, the, the moon is about recognition, the moon is about how people see you. And the last one, that will be dog. The dog is about loyalty, it is about personal integrity, it is about uh, faithful companion. But this is not about faithful companion here, I mean people will see and will recognize how strong you are when you are being honest. So they are going to see you very reliable as soon as you are not afraid to say what you think and to act accordingly to it. So it's basically here, it is where the, um, the, the whole mm, situation where you drop down your mask and you show your full face your true face in front of your boss or in front of your co-workers you know or in front of your um, intimate partner here pays out a, a big time because this time around it does look like because the bear also could be taken as a support this time around there will be those who will support your standpoint and will help you to move on from the uh, the situation which there is nothing for you in there it is only dead in there basically so yeah, that will be a huge week for you Aquarius, for what it seems you are going to, let's say, deliberate, uh, elaborate yourself, excuse me, from uh, a very uh, kind of like oppressing burden that even at the start of the week, many of you may not realize that this is even a burden, but as soon as you recognize, as I said, what is the true nature of the situation, uh, you will you will see that this is the only um, the only accurate decision and, and, and actions that can be taken. So that being said, guys, uh, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for Aquarius uh, for October 8th to October 14th. Again, this was just a general reading for Aquarius' star sign, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I have explained you the meanings of the cards, and I tried my best to do the synergy in the spread. 
but it forces you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Uh, if you want me to do that for you, well then that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you can see the full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye.